I've heard about this. I've read about this. I've never seen it. And now Jane and I actually did it. On this beautiful May day, Susan and I attempted to communicate with a bee swarm that had left its hive with a queen we've named Queen Rain. This is an image of her that I drew when I spoke to her telepathically. This is Rain Tree, and uh, today she swarmed. Queen Rain took Rain Tree Hive and started to swarm. 10,000 bees. Bees all pouring out. Still, they're still coming out. So tell me what's happening here, Susan. Well, the girls are in the air. Hopefully their queen is up here in the air. Three days earlier, I'd been by to visit Susan and she opened up Queen Rain's hive, Rain Tree. The swarm looks ready to go. And that uh, was a beautiful swarm, huge. They were in the air for a long time, and when they settled, they settled really high in this cedar that were, uh, that were uh, under, uh, probably 30 feet up. And there was no way we could get them. They were beautiful, they were up there, and they were untouchable. The old beekeepers knew just how to do it and they could actually call the swarms right down. <laughs> so Susan, um, what are you doing? Well, we have a very large prime swarm too high up in a cedar for me to get. A process called tanging the bees. And they would sit down below a swarm and drum. And try to drum in the bees. And the idea was that the bees by hearing the drumming would recognize that the cavity was hollow. They would hear the hollow cavity and they would come down. So Jane came over with her, her beautiful bowl, her singing bowl. I came over with a few sticks and a hive. Jane brought a flute and we started drumming and playing. And the bees really responded to the flute music. Holy mackerel. Chairman of the Board of Biology at Mount St. Joseph's University, PhD entomologist and Fulbright scholar Jean Kriske researched ancient Egyptian techniques for communicating with bees. He was my inspiration. An ancient form of calling the queen is called piping, something the ancient Egyptians did 3,500 years ago. And probably after 10 or 15 minutes, pieces of the swarm began lifting off from the branch and coming down toward us and they were all around Jane and her flute and all around me in the hive me in the hive and in the end they actually moved they lowered themselves about 15 or 20 feet so we were able to get them with the ladder i put this hive up there i lifted a few handfuls in and i've read about this and i I've never seen it, and now I have. Is it true that the ancient Egyptians really communicated with bees through resonance? Is it possible that we were able to emulate their process? It's hard to know, but it certainly felt like the bees came down and met us halfway. But one thing I can say for sure was that Susan and I experienced Mother Nature and the Bee Goddess in a deeply moving and powerful way.